Sama no Episode 3 of The Warrior. We were so close yesterday, so close. I think I need to update the title as well because, well, we made affiliate, which is awesome. I kind of want to celebrate, even though I haven't done any channel points, I haven't done any sub badges yet. Not that I won't expect people to do it, but I think you should be prepared for this kind of thing. I basically have nothing. All I've done today is make a trailer video. Yeah, so there's good news. I'm really happy considering um, I woke up and I'd lost about 150 pounds just waking up this morning because um, one of the apps I use, Football Index, it's kind of like a stocks and shares thing, I thought. It's more like a Ponzi scheme, it turns out. Went into administration, so I lost all my money. So I'm down 150 pounds this morning. Yay. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> the first message you post, Ray. <laughs> and it's held by a mod. <laughs> oh, I was scammed. No, no, no. I don't know why the word loser was held. There's nothing offensive. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Okay, so the modifier for episode 3 of The Warrior is that every time you level up, you lose 2 health. So I think by the time we get to the 5th floor, we don't want to do that final level. If possible, we just want to take our equipment and go straight to the boss. <laughs> Interesting. Oh god, really? Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Always a pleasure, right? <laughs> now, good speaking to you, man. Right, now he's away ahead of us for 10. Plasma cannon. Cannon. Oh, we need a... I don't want to use the fury. Come on, reroll. There we go. We'll just hit for five. And we'll walk away. All smug. Space money's easy. Like, he's only got one move. Hey, if you make it out of here, say hello to the moon for me. I still think about it every day. Okay. That's a troubling relationship with a celestial body. Uh, deal six damage, six fire damage, and burn one dice with a staff, which takes up two spaces. Alright. This is when we use Fury. Limit break gives us double actions, so we hit for 12, we gain 4 health. And we wipe out the poor little bunny rabbit. But we lose 2 health for leveling up. Where we lose 2 health, we gain an extra dice. So it's quid pro quo. I'm gonna take on Stereo Head first. He can be annoying. I hope the frame rate is looking okay as well. I've reviewed the previous two or three videos that I made, Manifold Garden, uh, all the way back to Maquette on the Friday. So the weekend's videos and Monday's videos. And I can't see a distinct drop off in frame rate when I'm using Steam to play the likes of Manifold Garden or Valheim. So this stream at the moment 
although I have a VPN on the laptop, which is the main uh, base of operations, I've taken a VPN off of the PC, which is where we have the capture card plugged into at the moment. So hopefully there's no, there are no issues. Um, yeah, so we'll just power up the staff. Six fire damage, burn a dice. We don't need health, so we'll just go for the five damage. Took a big chunk off him there. Race part in comments. All right, so uh, full damage on six, restore two health. So we hit for full health. Come on, we need a four. We'll take a six. Three damage, burn a dice. So in order to extinguish a dice, you have to give up two health. Extinguish a burning dice, you have to give up two health. Ah, well, so he's chosen just to ignore that. Um, perfect number. So we don't need the health boost either, but we will look and see what's in the chest. Bump. Bump's okay. We, we used bump for quite a while, the last game we played through. So Sneezy's the next opponent. He's got some fairly basic moves. He pummel, uh, throws his dice into these to do three damage. If he rolls a double, he can reduce the countdown on all equipment by the amount rolled via the double. So we will put six into the fly trap. We'll roll a four. We'll bump the three to a four. Fill the staff. Hit for six fire damage and burn one of his decks. So he's going to use the double, so he's chosen to take him two damage. But then he has hit us for 12. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and use the Fury so that we can hit twice, gain 4 health, 2 per hit. Level up, it gives us full health. These both are full. So this is a full equipment, it takes up two slots, and I would say that this is a half e equipment, because it takes up half of a full slot. Having two sources of damage, the staff plus the fly trap, is, um, is the best idea, because we don't have that much health, and we have, in fact, diminishing health, so... I was hoping to be able to get an upgrade here. Burning a dice. Or adding one poison through the claw. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the claw. And then we're going to swap the staff for the spike shield. Which allows us to um, create armor for ourselves. We'll fight the marshmallow and then we'll head to the third floor. First off, we'll use the bump to get a 5 into a 6. We'll do max damage through the fly trap. Ouch. Okay, so now we're going to use 4 in the spike shield to do 4 damage. If it was odd, it would have given us a shield for that amount. Now we need to get lucky here. Oh, look at that. Perfect. 3 damage plus 1 poison, and poison does 1 tick, so he loses 1 health at the start of the next turn, it then removes the poison, removes 1 poison per turn. So if he had 10 poison, he would take 10 damage at the start of the turn, poison would then go from 10 to 9. So it's actually better if we have this upgraded, or if we have the ability to do more poison. So we're going to upgrade a 5 to a 6. 
Hit for six, heal for two. I'm gonna do two damage with one poison. Then. I think we just skip, because we can't kill him this turn anyway. Even if we put five into our spike shield, it would have only given us five armor as opposed to five. So we'll hit Phoenix Flight Trap. Give ourselves two health. Take out the marshmallow. We're gonna pick up this apple before we head down. And then we'll go down to floor three. So the haunted jar, bully, and baby squid. Um, I think if we go Baby Squid, we'll get the upgrade, the health, and then we'll come back around. We probably don't want to hit max level, but we do want to get to a, about level 5. Okay, so bump the 5 to a 6. Hit for 6, heal for 2. I'm going to save Fury until we take some damage so that we can heal for more. I'm going to use 4 in the spike shield to do 4 damage. And then we're just going to do 1 damage with 1 poison. End our turn for now. We'll kill the baby squid net. Well, oh, maybe. He's blinded us. That's not so bad though, because unleash the fury, Mitch. Double dragon. Double damage. And then 4 through the spike shield. Wipes out the squid. Alright, let's see what we get. We get a crystal sword. I like the crystal sword. I like it better than the spike shield. It can only be used once per battle, but the damage it can do is immense. So, up against Haunted Jar. I can't remember this guy's moves. He is strong against poison, though. Quick look. Um, strong against poison because, in fact, he is going to attempt to poison us. And if you let this get out of hand, I'm pretty sure it can get... Uh... No, I need a max of five. So we're going to do 3 up to a 4. We'll turn the 4 into 12 damage. Which is a big chunk. Now we can only use that once per battle, but it's fine. We're going to hit for 6. Heal for 2. for big but we've managed to regain some health and then we're just gonna hit for one poison and we've leveled up anyway so we've filled our health bar but then we've lost two health off the back of the um, modifier on episode 3 so we're gonna start by doing 15 damage to the crystal sword Six damage for the fly trap, and then we'll try and roll down. Okay, now we bump the two to a three. We've left him with nine health. All right, I'm going to use the fury just to gain our 4 health, which will be a, a big boost. Seeing as how we've just leveled up, it'll be a while before we regain our maximum health. We're going to upgrade the Venus Flytrap, which will restore 3 health now if we use 6 dice rather than 2. 
We don't want to use anything that damages our cells. Having a target shield with a max of two is uh, kind of lame. A broadsword. Broadsword's not bad. Uh, it's not bad at all. So the most you can do in the special sword is five times three per battle, which is a total of 50. So in order for the broadsword to be more efficient than the other one, you would need to put a six in here, plus the two, that makes eight. Eight and eight makes 16. So I think the broadsword could potentially be better over two turns, right? The crystal sword is only really good if you want to end a fight ASAP. Okay, so we can see that the dryad is powered up. It's become super dryad. Super dry. Copyright. Um, I'm not sure of the approach I want to take. Um, why not? Okay, we're going to go Super Dryad. The super enemies, they don't... As of yet, they, they don't really... I haven't really met one that I found super hard. <laughs> so the, the title modifier, Super. It's suggestive of them being harder, but their moves are practically the same. I guess super also refers to the amount of dice they get, so they get extra dice per turn. Uh, we're going to start with a, f a full fly trap. Six damage, returns full health. We're then going to put three into the claw. Three damage plus poison. And then we need a six. Oh, look at that. Eight damage through the broadsword. I can't believe that when I played the Warriors third episode yesterday, we got to the last boss, and if we had two health, we would have won. But I made a decision earlier to level up, which took away that two health, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. So we're going to use Fury. We're going to use a bump to get a six. Oh, I've messed that up. I was meant to do double, um, meant to do double fly trap, which would have given me double health, regen. But I used Fury before I used Bump. I got too excited, that's why. So let's take our six gold into the shop. She's willing to swap the spike shield for a whip. I don't think it's good enough. We'll take three health and. We'll fight the Wicker Man. Okay, so we'll start with the Max in the Poison. Poison? I think I've never had any. Then we'll take five into Bump, change it into six. We'll do the Max Fly Trap damage, give us full health again. And then we just want to play for the highest dice. So we'll come out with that. I've taken a big chunk out of his health. 18 or 16 or so. All right, now we have Fury. I'll do it the right way around this time, which is use Bump, then hit Fury, Limit Break, Double Venus, 12 damage, 6 healing. Uh, we'll then try and reroll. Alright, so we can put 3 in the claw, which is a, just a total of 4 damage. 7 damage out of the broadsword. 
He's down to seven health, and we have full health. <laughs> Brutal. Um, okay. So we're going to use Bump to get a six. Then we're going to use a Fury to gain six health. That fire damage was nasty. Oh, we might need another heal here to help us. Shit. Um... I can't remember the moves that the Rhino has. Ah, Smeg. Alright, we're just going to ignore the Rhino. Shit, look how far the health is. Alright, so we're coming up against Snowman. And we're on half health. Start with uh, Max Venus Flytrap. Six damage, three health. We will then bump a five to a six to do Max Broadsword damage. We're then going to play. <sighs> Alright, we're just going to chuck two and one poison. Uh, yeah. He's going to hit us with a bunch of freeze freezes here. He's going to hit us for two freezes. Oh god, and those rolls are so criminal. Um, that's frustrating. We're potentially going to die here. <laughs> oh well, let's get it over with. We'll stick three in the claw. We'll bump a 2 to a 3. Maybe I should have Fury the Claw, but... God, this sucks. So we'll just do 3 damage. And then Broadsword damage. He's going to hit us for 8. We're dead. Smeg. Alright, let's jump straight back into it then. Aww. Hey, Chlorine, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm really good. Thank you for asking. Mm. It was about maybe half past 11 uh, UK time last night when I got a message from Twitch to say that I'd, I'd made affiliate. So that was quite a, a happy thing. I didn't quite expect it. And then today I realized I have no channel point, no idea how to make a poll, no trailer video. I have to fix some frame rate issues. I have no emotes or anything like that. <laughs> Thank you. That's kind of you to say. Ooh. Ah, cool. Wow. All right. I need a six. Come on. Four will have to do. That's impressive. I... I have an idea, like a rough idea of what I want to do. I will just, just kill him. For some of the emotes. But I... When I was looking, they, I think you need... Three sizes? Or was that the channel point icon? You need to have three different sizes. Anyway, that was a quick kill for the robot guy as it normally is this first few floors. 
Toxic Ooze. We need an extra heal. Another healing crystal for a boost. <laughs> you have your spot on as well. Oh, we almost wiped the wolf up out in one turn. It's good. Uh, 112 by 112, 56 by 56, and 28 by 28. Yeah, that's exactly it. I'll just take out the easy dog, gain an extra dice, I'll lose two health, but gain a full bar of health thanks to leveling up. So this time, we're going to take out the dryad, the access to the shop and health. Pirate, and then the wizard, in that order. Cool. Well, because of, uh, I was thinking of, I need to find some time to, to do all of these things. The transitions were, um, the transitions were a bot thing. And I don't know if it's the recent update to Streamlabs, or if it's a recent update to Windows, or I'm going to assume that it's Streamlabs. But uh, about three days ago, um, it's a bot. <laughs> it's not a bot, it's a bot and paid for, is what I meant to say. Um, about three days ago, the transitions that had a, a sound associated with the stinger effect, so when they changed back and forth, the sound just disappeared. So, I kind of inexplicably, I've lost the um, the audio on the stinger effects, which I'm not sure for why. Uh, I can't seem to figure it out. I haven't really changed anything within uh, Streamlabs. The you know the video capture device. All of the audio levels are at the same rate. But I have heard that people were having problems with their streams thanks to the new Windows update. So it is going to be something that I'm investigating. Honestly, I woke up this morning thinking, oh, I can have a long lie. It'll be good. I have a day off. And then I remembered, oh, I need to get the van into the garage. So straight there, straight back. Oh, I need to do emotes. And then there was tutorials for how to do the emotes. And then it took me on to, oh, do you want sounds? people can pay channel points for sound and it's like what and then about 10 tabs open later i was like i need to make food make food sit back down it's time to stream so i've done nothing i did a trailer for the channel that's all i've managed to do <laughs> and it's terrible because the camera won't focus properly <sighs> someday i will take snowball We need this chest because we want a healing crystal. Or bump, which helped us a lot last time. So we're going to do three damage. And we'll just hit for ten total damage. You seem to know a lot though, so you might be my go-to person. You've nominated yourself, so... I promise I won't spawn. <laughs> uh, do we just... Don't need to use our limit break just yet. Level up. Spike shield. Here's bump. Bump de bump. That's going to help us get the dice we need. Onto the wizard. We're going to use our Fury this time. Double Toxic. Venus Flytrap. Going to bump the dice up to 5. And then almost wipe them out straight away.
<laughs> so that's my serious face. And then when I realize I'm pulling my serious reading face, I'm back to <laughs> smile. <laughs> it's crazy. I when I first started, I didn't realize just how much of a community spirit Twitch had and it's kind of surprised me a little bit like I was aware of raids and uh, hosts but I didn't realize just how nice some of the people would be and how helpful they would be it's it's a really nice surprise and I'm really thankful for everyone who's said hello offered to help or just generally showed their support by by raiding or whatever kind of stuck here I was hoping for six so that I could have got the health down to the third floor baby squid will be our first victim I'm gonna bump the five up to a six get max damage and restore two health We'll do five damage with one freeze and three damage. The um, yeah, there are one or two others that I watch, and it's 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 important that you find. Let me turn the uh, game volume down for this game. Actually, it's kind of repetitive. Bump the 5 up to a 6. To remember I'm playing a game at the same time. We're going to double hit. And we'll wipe out Baby Squid. Let's get the chill music on for a moment. Um, so if you have a bit of anxiety or whatever like I do and you have people that come in to view you and then they disappear. Despite me doing that myself, viewing someone, deciding that they're not for me and then and changing to someone else. When it happened to me, it felt a, more personal at the time, you know? And then I started thinking, oh my, am I entertaining? Are the games I'm playing terrible? And there was a little bit of, a big bit of self doubt. And I had to kind of bounce back and think, well, Actually, it's just people have a preference. Some people like certain things and you're not going to be for everyone in the same way that everyone's not, you know, for you. So there's, it's a bit of a learning curve. The way I kind of approach it is because I'm so busy, a lot of the time I have is, God, I feel the same, especially when someone writes in chat and you try and engage them, but they don't answer you. Like, <laughs> yeah. The people that I watch are every now and then I'll watch someone who's playing a game that I'm interested in. A game that maybe I find uh, difficult or that I don't like to play. Like I'll watch uh, Dead by Daylight sometimes. But I'm, I'm not interested in playing it myself. I'm just kind of interested in um, just seeing that game sometimes for half an hour. Team Fight Tactics, which is a Riot game. Competitive gaming, played at the highest level. I love to watch it, but it's hard to attain. Um, but recently I found myself engaging with the people who have been decent to me within the community. So we bump the five up to a six. We're gonna hit the Venus flytrap. Okay. Snowball and Toxicus. There appear to be one or two lurkers when I was playing Manifold Garden yesterday. 
And um, they were there because they had played the game previously. And um, similar to something that you mentioned uh, through Marquette, I think, where they just they wanted to see someone else kind of struggle in a little bit or how someone else approached the game. Not necessarily struggling, just to see how someone else's brain tips, really, on that kind of game. Alright, we're just going to use Venus Flytrap, get some health back. Yeah, see how they do stuff differently. It's, um... Kind of inspirational, it can be. Let's jump into the shop. We're gonna take the taser and then we'll fight the haunted jar. But we're not gonna use the taser right now. We might use that shortly. I am gonna use the fury though. I'll roll the five up to a six and then we're gonna double toxic. Never mind. I messed it up yet again. I keep using Fury before Bump instead of Bump before Fury. So now we bump up. Six damage. And another six with two poison. That's three poison. That's him dead. Oh, how do you not die? Interesting. How do you stay alive then? I wonder if poison... Poison obviously can't kill you. That's a weird one. Okay. I keep... Uh, I just want to finish one dungeon in this game so I can make a YouTube video out of it. <laughs> and then I can move on to Valheim. <clears throat> Let's see. We're going to fight a super stereo head. I want to. I think that, um, sorry, we're having two headphones and I can't gauge my own sound sometimes. The sound of my own voice. It is, um, it's a little difficult because I want to make some YouTube videos. However, uh, we're going to use double toxic boost here to do four poison. Uh, we're going to bump up the five to a six. When I start to talk to people in chat, yourself on this occasion. I realize that, um, I know, I didn't find an odd dice there. If I'm talking to chat and the chat's not available on the video, then it doesn't make sense to put that on YouTube, right? Because <laughs> it would e effectively be, oh, come on now. Damage, restore one health. Okay, he can't die with poison. My voice, honestly, sometimes. <sighs> I have a really, really funny story, right? Where the first time I heard my voice was on camera, my dad had a video camera. And he used to record us when we were kids and my voice had not long broke, right? So it become deeper. I was about 12, 11, 12 years old and I bought roller skates, roller blades, so blades. But they were still an old fashioned type of roller blade. And I was naive and I didn't know much. And this is a long time ago. So my dad's got the camera out and I, I skate past the camera and embarrassing, hugely embarrassingly, I say to the camera, <laughs> I can't say it, it's killing me. 
I feel like the lady of the Tampax tampon advert and the camera almost drops, right? My dad almost drops the camera. And the reason I said that is because she was rollerblading, skydiving and all of this stuff, right? But I didn't know what they were. I can feel the heat coming out of my face right now. It's so embarrassing. I was 12, it was a long time ago. And so you have this deep, um, kind of, this deep voice coming out of a, a young guy who's, you know, not far through, <laughs> not long sort of started puberty. And he's talking about how he feels like the woman on possibly the body form Arver. My dad's dropped the camera because he knows what's what. <laughs> anyway, so this video, as you can imagine, got played constantly at like events or whatever my the embarrassment and so the first time i got to hear my deep horrible voice that i didn't like it it was me saying those words and just it being recorded for eternity well i say eternity but you know then dvd players came along and he had to port it and now it sits on a dvd player so as soon as they become redundant hopefully it'll disappear but uh, yeah just a little anecdote that's not going to go in the youtube video <laughs> at 100 followers oh no am i gonna have to dig this up oh god i'll have to ask my dad that was um extremely embarrassing uh, we're gonna fight the wicker man See, I can't, I can't do that on a YouTube video. Or maybe I just leave it in. Why not? Why not? You can't hide reality. It's best to embrace <laughs> these kinds of things. Uh, we're going to bump the five up to a six. We are then going to hit the Venus Fly Trap, gain full health. We need an odd dice here. That doesn't work. But we'll change the six do two poison. We're stuck with two fours because of the snowball. It needs an upgrade for it to be viable. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for stopping by. And look, if you ever feel like life's not going your way, just remember that there... <laughs> There was a confused 12 year old boy on his rollerblades who's managed to make his family laugh for about 20 years <laughs> by saying a, such a stupid thing. On that note, now you have a nice evening. We unleash the fury, double fly trap, boom, full health. We'll then take the five into the snowball. Now we're trying to roll high dice here. Ah, three will do. So he's down to 12 health and we have four health. So embarrassing. <laughs> I'm crying. Also sweating profusely. Sexy. Alright, have a good night. Thank you again. So we're going to go uh, six into fly trap, maintain our full health, three in the snowball, four in the toxicus. Going to beat the wicker man, and we are one win away from our next level. Do you want to change the crystal sword for hammer? Yes, but we're not going to use it right now. And then we need to go through Aurora to get downstairs. We're going to do max poison, max fly trap damage. We'll bump a four up to a five. Max snowball damage, double poison, single freeze, reduce the six to a one.
she still double shocked us, which is just nasty. Uh, the fly traps have a commission, so we're going to put a two in there. We're going to unleash the fury, double fly trap, full health. But then going to bump the five up to a six. And that's it for this turn. again. Um, I think because we're going to level up, I'm just going to use the fly trap. Save the limit break. Boom. Level up. Full health. I'm going to take the last stand. Because I feel like if I had the last stand during my first playthrough of episode 3 as the warrior, then I would have won. Alright, so I've never fought the Wisp before. Uh, the Bounty Hunter is a new one as well. A Wisp is our first target, so let's go. Strong against fire. Okay. Well, let's try and reroll these ones. We have a six, so we go Fury. Double Toxic. 12 damage, 4 poison. We'll then put, we'll reroll one of these threes. Five, perfect. So now we put a five. Five damage, one freeze. We'll bump the four up to a five. And we'll do five damage through Venus. Twelve. Twenty-two damage in the first turn. That's pretty good. Use Fury, double Venus, max health, and then we're going to finish him off with a poison. We'll hit the chest, see what's in here. Another Toxic Goose, redundant. Paper Knight out. Paper Knight is weak to fire. Right, now we're going to reroll the one. Perfect. That's a uh, max toxic. Reroll the two. That's five. We'll bump the five for a six. Max Venus. Eh. And then we'll put an odd in the snowball to do four damage out of that. Unleash a Fury, double Venus, get our health back, we'll hit for the poison, we'll reroll this one, we'll bump it the four up to a five, and then we'll do max snowball damage, end our turn there. Let's hope the Paper Knight doesn't. Nice. That attack that she does with the seven damage is pretty insane. We're going to finish with the Venus. Get full health out of that fight before we leave. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's double check the shot. We'll take an upgrade straight away. So I want to upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade Bump. Because Bump is hella useful. So we can double back for Bounty Hunter if we need to, but right now we're just going to go for the bird, Loud Bird, Pidgeot, he has an annoying ability to nick out of the way. Uh, we're going to reroll a 1, we'll bump a 5 up to a 6, do max toxic with the poison damage. We're then going to bump a 4 up to a 5. 
to do max snowball damage. We'll then reroll the three and then the two. Max flight trap damage. Okay, so he's got his double. He silenced us. He hasn't got the dodge, but he has weakened us and silenced us. So, our first move is going to be the Venus to get our health back. We're going to use the 5, bump it up to a 6. Do the toxic damage. It's pointless. No, it wasn't. We could have bumped a 2 to a 3 to get the dive. My bad. My bad. So he's used all of his moves that time. Annoyingly. Um, we can't bump a 5 up, so we're just going to go Five damage, which he dodged, because obviously. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Oh god, this sucks. We need to re-roll this four into a six. We can bump it up to a 4, but the Fury, that's uh, not going to make a difference. Oh my bad, I messed that up. Double 6, silence, it hit us with a 1 in the weaker. He's not going to dodge it next turn, but we're going to throw 3 in here so I can get at least 1 health, but we'll bump a 2 to a 3, and we'll finish him off with a snowball to the beak. Oh. Silly Pidgeot. Um, Nick back. Grab the three health. Upgrade. Let's have a look at our backpack. Upgrade Toxicus. Now, this is the decision I have to make. This is the decision I made the last time. Do I need to level up? If I do, it's going to take me to 14 health, and that could be the decider against this boss. Or I could swap out Snowball for Last Stand, and I could pummel dice into Last Stand so that we survive the next attack. I feel like we have four dice. We have four moves that we can use. Three plus the double bump. Honestly, I don't think we need to level up. <laughs> a wifey. We're just going to go straight for a wifey. Uh -huh. You're going to die this time. Yep. More fighting? I couldn't. I'm stuffed. Oh. Okay, just one more. I roll. Okay, I have to mute my mic because the the noise of this lid 
from this bottle is ridiculous. <clears throat> okay, uh, Max Venus Flytrap, back up to 15 health. Max Toxicus, we now sit on a stack of 8 poison damage. We'll re roll the 1, we'll bump it to a 5, and hit for snow damage with 1 frost. Huge dent to a wifey's health. So I think we've managed to maneuver this quite well. We're going to use our Fury and we'll double Venus to kill. Whew. Made it look easy, but that's, that's the third attempt it took me to complete that episode 3 as the warrior. Ah look, here we are at the wheel again. Let's give it a spin and see whether this time, this time, you might win your heart's desire. A speedboat. A speedboat. Jet skis. No. Oh well. I'm sure things will look up for you eventually. So here's an overview of what we've done so far. We've done six characters, episodes two. We've done the warrior, episode three. 